Have you ever been watching a YouTube video? It doesn't matter if it's a big channel or a small channel, but they pop a logo up like that, and then it looks like this. Yeah, that's a problem. It's a bug with Resolve, and today I've got a solution for you to make it look like that. So welcome back to Creator Reality, my friend. Today I've got two ways to fix the lens blur bug, and it may happen with other effects. If you see this sort of pixelation, these should work for that. And it may happen with other effects, I'm not really sure, but this one I've had a workaround for a while and I didn't see many people talking about it, so maybe only three of you have this problem. Let me know in the comments below if you have had this problem. I'm curious, because I have seen this on, I mean, six-figure YouTube channels and I'm like, dude, there's a fix for that. And you know, you leave a comment on a big channel, they don't really get back to you. I will get back to you. If you leave a comment, I will respond to it. Anyway, before I ramble on too long, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and take a look at what's happening and the fix. So here we are on our timeline. I've done a magic mask on a clip of me, and I really want this logo behind me to match the blurry background. So normally you'd go into your effects library, down to open effects, filters, grab lens blur, and drag it on, but you can see that this uh, has some blocky pixels, right? Like the intro. And you may be fooled by playing through the clip and it looks okay. But trust me on this, when it renders, it's going to look like garbage. Well, the problem I think is that some PNGs don't have exactly a clear outline. I tried this with a number of them, but we're going to stick with this one. I downloaded it somewhere, so I didn't make it. So I didn't cause the problem. Don't blame me. But here we are. We do have a problem. We need to get rid of that. So the first way is if you have DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can just come down here with our PNG selected in our inspector video and select super scale. Yeah, that looks much better, right? So let's go and look at the other way of fixing this. So if we come in to our inspector and go under effects, we can get rid of the lens blur and it's actually a very quick fix. We're gonna right click on our clip, select new fusion clip, right click on it and say open infusion page. And then with media in one selected, we can press one. You can see that our logo is right up there. It's already been sized and everything. And we'll press shift space bar and type in lens. You get a few selections, but we wanna click on lens blur, click add, and it's done. I know that's gonna be a little bit too blurry. So I'll type in three, bring the blur down a little bit, come back to the edit tab and voila, we have a logo that's a little bit blurred out. And then if you really want to spice it up, we can actually come in here and add a drop shadow. And there, ta-da, done. And that's obviously personal taste. I like the drop shadow with the separation between foreground and background. And I'm really just filling up these five seconds while DaVinci Resolve does the render cache. And now that it's done, we're just going to play through and it looks great. You can really see the 3D pop because the hand there is separate from the background right there, boom and this logo is in the background blurred. Job done. So that, my friend, is two ways to fix the lens blur bug in DaVinci Resolve. I really hope they fix this in 19, and if you're from the future and you're watching this, I'm guessing they didn't. But leave me a comment below. Have you encountered this bug, and are you happy with the solution? Heck, just hit the like button, and then watch that video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.